Hey guys, what's up? I'm back, obviously. People that haven't uh, seen any of my videos, my name's Emily. So, yes, as you can tell by the title below, I am doing the American Assassin movie review. Um, I'm trying to make this, I've like, filmed three versions of this. They're very, very long. So I'm trying to make this one short. And obviously I wanted to make this for you guys because I've said so. I've really wanted to make it for a long time, this video. But I've waited, the main reason I've waited is because uh, the movie's still coming out in other countries. So there is some spoilers, but I'll try and keep it very, very minimum. And uh, I'll try and keep this one fast. That's when I'm trying to talk fast. Um, but I will release in the next uh, few days my longer version. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, feel free to check it out. Uh, yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah. Starting with the movie, I loved the movie, it was amazing. Um, it was very fast paced and at first I thought it was a bit too fast paced but um, I really liked how it actually was fast paced because some movies with the fast pace you don't really get to kind of understand the characters, that sort of thing. But with this movie you got to understand the character stories and the background of them and who they are and what their purpose was, that sort of thing. And uh, Basically American Assassin is based off uh, an author called Vince Flynn's book, American Assassin, uh, which basically is about the Plan Man Lockerbie attacks, but this movie is about more recent uh, events in this world, so like the terrorism, that sort of thing, and it really gives you a, an inside view of what's actually happening, which I really liked, and it's really good how they explored it, because um, it chain, like it just makes you understand more. Um, so start with the opening scene, trying to be quick. Basically, as you saw, Mitch's girlfriend, uh, Mitch Rapp's played by Dylan O'Brien, and uh, Mitch's girlfriend Katrina is played by Char uh, Charlotte um, Vega, I'm sure who she is. Uh, so basically, she gets killed with a terrorist attack. The opening scene was very, very um, emotional, because what I noticed was actually the first shot, that, like, I didn't realise that Mitch, and realised that Mitch got shot in the back. But then realised the first shot he got was in his leg, then his back, um, trying to save his girlfriend, well, fiance, because he just literally proposed with her with his mum's ring, which was heartbreaking, because uh, they were so cute together. Anyway, uh, yeah, so basically, um, that sort of happens, and then about 18 months later, he like starts training, that sort of thing, and like getting like punch bags, that sort of thing, martial arts, gun training, which was really interesting because Dylan trained for about six weeks before pre-production uh, on the martial arts gun training that sort of thing and it was really interesting because they trained with Roger Yan and Buster something I can't remember if there's a video at the end there's a yeah there's a video at the end of the video of him and his gun training which is really interesting so you can check that out guys uh sorry if I'm talking about fast and trying not to make this too long uh so then I loved how Dylan expressed all the emotions throughout the movie I really really loved that actually I really did like, all the actors done it too, but like Dylan's performance, you've never seen him this way. And I just, as you guys know, I love Dylan O'Brien. Um, so it was just emotions I knew the scene and throughout it was just amazing. So then he gets uh, basically trying to keep this spoiler free. Um, and then the longer version obviously will be spoilers. Uh, anyway, so then he gets picked up by the CIA, CIA thank you. He starts training with them. Then he meets Stan Hurl. Then he meets Iron Kennedy. Uh, then he like basically is Iron Kennedy's his mentor, played by Stan Alana. And then he meets uh, Stan Hurley, which I loved Stan and uh, Mitch's entrance. Like Mitch and Stan are just so sassy together, and Stan's played by Michael Keaton. And I just love Michael Keaton and Dylan O'Brien working together. It's just amazing, perfect combination. Uh, and I love Tyler Posey and Dylan O'Brien working together. Anyway, that's a different story. Um, yeah. Um, so basically then, the first time Stan meets Mitch, he says, when you talk to me, you call me sir, that sort of thing. And Mitch and him are just sassy. And then, then it skips to, well, not skips to then, um, what happens is kind of, so Stan can see him more. They start doing trading different things, that sort of thing. Uh, Mitch is very, very strong because he's left one in the trailer and that sort of thing. Whereas other people have just quit and left. So it's just him and Victor. Victor played by Scott Aiken, Aiken, sorry. Um, and then basically what happens is they, before they fly to uh, Istanbul, um, they basically 
like Stan shows a uh, Mitch the video of him and his girlfriend. Like, it was because he was videoing the proposal in the opening scene. It was and he got annoyed and then he like was saying never let it get personal. But in the end, it was pretty personal. Um, that's why Mitch's drive was that. And then they fly to Istanbul, trying a uh, like they try and defeat, like kill the person that's um, building the bomb and uh, the person that's uh, helping to build the bomb, um, which is Sharif, the person helping and the person building that's ghost, which you'll hear more about the story later. And um, basically they try and kill him and then but ghost sees Victor because Victor's leading and then um, Mitch is back up, uh, which, which I wish Mitch was back up, but he anyway, he kind of became a uh, lead anyway. Uh, Kind of came lead anyway. I don't even know if that made sense. Anyway, moving on. Anyway, I keep saying anyway in this video. Um, so then, um, Victor gets um, killed by Ghost. Uh, da, da, I keep saying that. Mitch is not happy with it. So then, basically, Sam is like, you better confirm you're not going to do anything. But then, Mitch goes after the guy and starts to starts like speaking Turkish to the assistant and gets in and then gets to Sharif uh, has a battle off with Sharif's bodyguard then basically kills Sharif then um, what happens is that he goes to Rome that's the big scene uh, stays in this Rome hotel with uh, Anika which is played by uh, uh, Shiva Nega but she was in Istanbul too uh, helping them all and then what happens is then the ghost comes, uh, starts to kind of like start with his uh, guys. They have a fight, that sort of thing. Then Dylan's fight scene and that was just outstanding. Um, and then what happens is basically then what happens is um, uh, Mitch discovers uh, that. Um, she, uh, she, sorry, Anika uh, is working with uh, the Israelians. Um, so then he discovers her. Then uh, Stan goes to speak to someone. He gets shot, gets taken by a ghost. The whole torture scene was just all oh, weird. And it was just so funny because, like, before the movie came out, Dylan said something about that torture scene and how much, uh, how much, how Michael was actually doing it because what happened is, basically, to not give us spoilers. He basically got tortured and something to do with his fingers. Anyway, I'm not going to say because it, it was just, like, it was like, oh, but, uh, you know. Anyway, so then at the end of the day, Mitch um, basically help, uh, goes after uh, to save um, Stan, then goes for Ghost. Uh, Ghost and him have a massive fight, which Ghost involves uh, his girlfriend Katrina, and he just got pissed with that. Uh, so, um... So talking about how he couldn't, how Mitch couldn't say whatever. So Mitch, like Mitch was just like, no, you can't even talk about my girl, uh, my fiance. Like anyway, and then what happens is the bomb goes off. They're all a big mass explosion, but they all seem to be fine. And Mitch saves the day. And uh, then at the end of it, um, you can see like uh, Stan gets hurt. That sort of thing. So he's all stitched up. Then he's like, then Stan and a uh, hiding. I like I can't go to Mitch. Where is he? But before that scene, hold on. Before that scene, um, one well, there was a lot of a uh, shirtless Dylan, which was a bit like oh my god. But anyway, yeah. Um, so in that scene, is he then after Mitch saves the day? There's a scene. At, at first, I thought it was um ghost coming back up because he died, but because uh, Mitch killed him, which was actually interesting because when Mitch first met Stan. Mitch killed Ghost the first move Stan taught him, which was with a knife, and with the sort last one. Anyway, um, just I'm trying to keep it bare minimum for my younger viewers, so yeah. Um, and then basically, then after that, Mitch saves the day. He um, basically, there's a scene that he comes out of the water and he's and then looks at this photo of him and his girlfriend, it was just really emotional. And then when it gets to Stan, uh, when it gets to Stan, and um, uh, I didn't talking to her, like we can't call the Mitch but then there's this interview that is really saying that oh we're gonna get all Americans that sort of thing but it was translated from that to Islam, like Islamic to that and then all you see is at the end spoiler massive spoiler alert okay actually no I'm not gonna spoil it I'm sorry no I'm not I can't 
No, I can't spoil it. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm not going to spoil it. But yeah, let's just say there's 100% going to be a sequel because the way it ended for sure, plus Dylan told us he was signed for three movies. So yeah, anyway, to not make this video a long ass video, um, I'm glad that you guys tuned in though because this video means a lot. And I will release the full length video of me talking about it, which is like at least like 20 plus minutes, so... <laughs> The safety's on. <laughs> oh my god. <gosh. laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, so I, bet, I guess I can finish this up. And sorry guys that this video took me a long time to do. Um, just because like, of the news I got last night, that sort of thing. And uh, just, I've just been so busy. But yes, if you haven't added me already, add me on Snapchat, which is all below the link, uh, my usernames and links, and my Instagram, and follow me on Twitter. Um, but yes, uh, I hope you guys liked the uh, previous video of myself baking. So I hope you guys liked it because it was fun to do, it was really good. But I will, that's all I can really say. Sorry if this video has been rubbish. I don't think it has, because I love talking about American Assassin and Donald Trump. And apologies for my appearance. I literally just kind of chilled today, that sort of thing, and just put on a nice pair of jeans, because I can wear jeans now. Even though I've still got the brace on, I can wear jeans now. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, sorry if this video's been so long, but I guess I can finish it off now, because I don't really know what else to say. I'm like so awkward at the moment, don't know why. Anyway. Thank you for liking this video and tuning in obviously. If you haven't already, subscribe because why not, you know? <laughs> and I will see you guys next Tuesday. 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 Thank you, uh, movie posters and uh, Vince Flynn for designing them. But check this out, guys. Like, honestly, they got sent to me the other day. That's the US version one, and that's the uh, UK version. I love them so much. Thanks, guys. <laughs>